Hi guys, D900 Man here, and this is our full review of the Vodafone Smart Tab 2 7 inch version. So, just to give you some specs if you didn't watch our previous video of unboxing and first look, this is going to be able to be bought from Vodafone either as a pay as you go device, which will cost you £149, and in that £149, you're going to get 500 megabytes worth of data for 60 days then additional top ups are going to cost you £5 and for that you get 250 megabytes of data for £30 or you can go with a contract to pay monthly version and that's going to be a 24 month contract at £20 a month and what that will give you is 2 gigabytes worth of UK data then £15 for each additional gigabyte afterwards you're also then going to get 1 gigabyte of UK Wi-Fi with things like BT Open Zone, and then the device is just going to cost you £29. Now what I am not going to do in this video is compare this to the Galaxy, sorry, to the Nexus 7, because I haven't used the Nexus 7 first of all, and this isn't the type of device that needs comparing to that such thing. We all know that the Nexus 7 is probably the best 7 inch tablet out there. But this is something all of its own. You're going to be able to use this on the Vodafone network and this device is powered by Lenovo and it's running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It's got one gigahertz processor in there and it's got a crystal clear 7 inch multi touch screen and then it's got both front and rear facing cameras. Now this front facing camera is just a 0 0.3 megahertz and we'll just show you what that is like right now. So if we turn this around, you should be able to see us. So you're not going to get great picture quality. We'll take that picture and you should be able to see what it's like on the device just there. Okay, not the greatest quality, um, not the best picture. And then you're going to get a rear facing camera as well. So we'll show you what that looks like. We'll put that in there. We'll also put that in there. Okay, so this is the rear facing camera, and this is a 2 megapixel camera. There's no flash or anything on there. I'll take that picture and show you what it looks like on the screen itself. So, not a bad picture, not like you're going to be using this for taking it out and snapping loads of different pictures I wouldn't have thought at all. Now the camera does offer a number of different options, you can record video with it as well but then you can also take some panoramic pictures so if we just take one of my desk just here, okay so this is a small panoramic picture of my desk so it doesn't take bad panoramic pictures, not the best in the world but for a device of this size and for this price, I think it's a very reasonable camera. Now there are loads of other different settings and here you can change the white balance and um, you can change the colour effect so you've got non, mono, sepia negative, sepia blue, sepia green. You change the white balance, auto, daylight, fluorescent, crowdy and tungsten. You then change the scene mode to auto or night. Then you've got a number of different camera settings so where you're going to save it to, the exposure, it's got a nice self timer as well, um, picture size so it says 3 megapixels and the anti flicker as well. So overall decent enough camera for what you're going to be using this, you know you're not going to be recording full HD or taking amazing shots with this but you've got to remember this is a tablet and nothing more. If we come out of there we'll just go back to the home screen, so the home screen you can see is this nice red style here. If we click in the corner you get a number of different applications. So you get things on here like Amazon Kindle, you get your browser, Chrome, Media, your email, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, loads of different applications on there. You've got YouTube and then you've also got the Google Play Store so you're going to be able to download. Now you are running that one gigahertz processor and the touch screen on this is very very nice indeed you know it's silky smooth you're not going to get much lag at all and then you can just get rid of different things obviously with the multitasking now this is expandable you can put an SD card in here so you're going to be able to get more out of it if we head over 
to the browser it's got the automatic Google sign in so it's going to take us straight to Google and then if we launch up the browser itself we should get a keyboard pop up okay so you can use it in both portrait or landscape now one thing that is quite annoying it does take a while to rotate and you don't get a smooth rotation like you do on the Nexus 7 or the um, iPad or iPad mini so if we just uh, type in Phoenix Tech will take you to the Phoenix Tech website so we'll go here and then phoenixtech.com we'll see how quickly the web page renders and what it looks like on here this should give us the full website so it is taking a little bit so this is actually taking us to the mobile version of this which is a little bit of a shame but we'll load up the main page this is working on my Wi-Fi at home so it's not the fastest browser of the world but I have to say that it does look very very nice scrolling is very easy on here and then if we just pinch to zoom on one of these articles the pinch to zoom works fairly well as well it's not not really fluid but you know it does work as it was meant to so if we can just come out of there and we'll go back home then we've got a number of different widgets that we can use as well so if we go into the widgets you can assign these to different screens and you're going to get the normal Android functions on so there. what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the YouTube application that's going to show us two things the video playback on here and also the sound quality so if we go to YouTube and then if we just go find the Phoenix Tech if we just play the Nokia Lumia turn this over and wait for this to buffer Hi guys, do not under man here we've got another smartphone review for you today this one is the Nokia Lumia 920 so let's get it unboxed see so the there is there. quite a lot of screen glare on there and the viewing angles aren't great there's also a little bit of lag when watching video playback as you saw that sound is nice and loud on here so but it's not really the in depth screen colors could be a little screen. bit better so on here and um, you're not getting true and you will feel that. colors and there they're a little bit washed out as well so if we just does take a micro come out of here move the top layer out of the way and then you'll get but overall this is a very very nice device you know I would be happy to use this to answer emails um, typing on here is perfectly acceptable if we just load a new email ok so if we just compose an email and you get that tactile feedback in there as well so hello YouTube are you today so as you can see that today it's not there so we can delete that and we'll change that and it's very very responsive when typing there's no lag in typing as well so overall pretty nice device for for the price I think you're getting a decent enough device it fits in one hand and it's not too heavy at all loads of things that you can do on here very very portable downside to it is that there isn't great screen screen quality on here the colors look a little bit washed out you're not going to get that true depth you are also going to get a little bit of lag when watching video back on here Battery life on here has been absolutely perfect for me, there's been no problems with that at all. So this has been our review of the Vodafone Smart Tab 2 powered by Lenovo running Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. Thanks very much for watching and we will catch you real soon in the next one.